fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Ohio Silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains fought crime and criminals throughout the early western United States. No one could match his strength and courage, but it was his sense of fair play that made him the great champion of justice the frontier ever knew. Anyone who deserved a second chance could depend on help from the Lone Ranger. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on! Job Hopkins, proprietor of the general store in the tiny village of Sweetwater, was too busy waiting on a customer to keep an eye on the ragged boy who'd entered a few minutes before. Is there uh, anything else, Miss Sweeley? Got some new ginghams in the other day you might look at. Mighty pretty. Nope, I think not. Need anything for the kitchen? No, I... Wait, reckon I could use new dish pan. I've got just what you want. Uh, now, let me see. Where was they put? I... Job? Huh? Look there. What? Why, the only little thief. Hey, I seen you. Put that grub back where you got it. You got a blazer. Hold on there. Get away. I, I got you. Let me go, Blaster. Let me go. Hold still. I, I declare, Joe. Look at his pockets. Stuff plum full. Loose fingered little coyote. Here. Let's see what you stole. You let me go. A can of peaches. I'll fix you. I'll fix you. Cookies. Take our hands off. And me. here's a can of tomatoes. Hey. Now, what's this you got hit under your shirt? That's ah. mine. Well, I'll be. A gun. Don't do you it. stole it from behind my counter. Miss Will, you go for the sheriff, will you? Tell him I caught a thief. Just hold on to him, Joe. Uh, I never seen you before, have I? Who are you? Where, where'd you come from? Ain't none of your business. Well, the sheriff will get us out of here, I guess. He... Uh. Oh, my ankle. You kicked my ankle. You young thief, I'll well, get... You were smart, didn't you, mister? Well, just try and catch me. Hey, come back here. Come back, I tell you. Uh, little thief. Well, he ain't going to get away with this. He's going to get a lesson he won't never forget. <laughs> Less than an hour later, the Lone Ranger and Tonto were riding near Sweetwater, and the masked man suddenly drew back on his reins. Oh, oh, so don't Hello, 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 what's that? What matter? Just a moment. He's out of sight. I think he's running down that arroyo. No, there he is. See him? Ah, him boy. He's certainly traveling. Ah, seems strange to see anyone afoot in this part of the country. I wonder what he's running from. What that? Where? Look that way. That explains it. I'm chasing him. Two horsemen. They must be after the boy, or they wouldn't have cut away from the trail. Not right. He's got.
got a good lead on them, but he certainly hasn't a chance to escape while they're on the saddle. Tato, what do you say we look into this? A good idea. There's the boy again. Come on, Get him up, Come, Come on! on. Not long before the boy discovered that the sheriff and Job were not the only ones trying to overtake him. At the sight of the lone ranger in Tonto, he redoubled his speed, scampering over the prairie like a frightened rabbit. But the masked man and the Indian were soon within hailing distance. Hold on there! Him not stop. We'll be up to him in a moment. Wait, he sees he can't get away. He's stopping. What's that he's doing? In that stone. He's going to throw it. Drop that stone! Did you hear me? Drop it! You asked for it, Mister! Mist! Oh, hold it! Oh, hold it! Oh, 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 oh. He's going your way, Tato. Grab him! Oh, me get him! Oh, yes. him! Hold on, Tato. Now look here, young fellow. What's this all about? Oh, why can't you leave a fellow alone? Hey, you're mad. Never mind that. Who are those fellows chasing you? What do you care? Come on, talk. You've got time. They can't get here for a minute or two yet. I ain't gonna talk and you can't make me. Well, that's pretty big talk for a lad your age, isn't it? Mind your own business. Shut up. Uh, isn't that one horseman the sheriff? Uh, that's him, all right. So you were running from the law, huh? What have you been up to? Well, let me go. Give me a chance to run for it. Why? they soon get you. You didn't hope to outrun men on horses, did you? I can take care of myself, I reckon. From the appearance of things, it looks as though maybe you're mistaken. Well, here they come... You won't explain. Perhaps they will. I reckon I won't be the only one in trouble. No? Wait till the sheriff starts asking about that mask. I reckon then you'll be sorry for meddling. We'll see. Don't let him go, mister. He's safe. Oh, boy. Oh, that. Well, a mask, hombre. A redskin. Don't mind them, sheriff. Rest that kid. I want him jailed. What's he done? Huh? Rob me, that's what. You're the storekeeper in town, aren't you? I am. You really want a youngster of this age thrown into jail? How old are you, son? Thirteen. Going on fourteen. Where's your home? Ain't got none. Never had none. No? He's lying. What makes you say that? Huh? Well, well, don't make no difference whether he is or not. Sheriff, what are you standing there for? Why don't you do something? Just been trying to figure these two hombres, that's all. Well, thinking of arresting us, too, were you, Sheriff? Might not be such a bad idea. You've got nothing on us. You're masked. And I wouldn't advise you to try it. Yeah. Uh. Well, neither one of you answers the description of anybody I'm looking for. So I guess there's no reason for us crossing each other. But this young un's a different piece of goods. What's your handle, kid? I ain't talking. I said, what's your handle? Oh, Tommy. Tommy what? Just Tommy. Ain't got no other name. Well, you're likely lying about that, too. Where'd you come from? No place in particular. Huh? I've been all over. All over, eh? Huh. Yeah, I'll bet you've done some traveling. You know, Job, if I ever seen a young'un on his way to growing into a full-fledged crook, this is it. He's a crook right now. Oh, stop it, won't you? If you're going to jail me, go ahead and quit talking about it. I don't want to... But wanna... they're not, Tommy. What's that you said, stranger? Sheriff, yeah, when this boy says he has no family, I believe he's telling the truth. What if he is? It's easy enough to see he's had a hard time of it. And it's easy to see he's on the road to trouble. But jail isn't the remedy. No? He's most likely no worse than nine out of ten youngsters would be who had no homes. What's that got to do with your saying I wasn't going to arrest him? The surest way to make certain he'll develop into a criminal is to throw him into jail. Don't listen to him, Sheriff. Do your duty. Why are you so anxious to see him arrested? What did he take from you? He was trying to steal grub. Well, I'm not excusing him. The jail won't cure his stealing. <laughs> if that won't, what will? A chance to live a normal life. The opportunities any other boy would have the right to expect. Bosh. Yes? Sentimental bosh. A thief's a thief, and it don't matter none what his age is. He stole from me, so he deserves to be punished same as anyone else. What do you think, Sheriff? Don't matter to me. Job's the one that's complaining. If he says to let the kid go, he can go. If he wants him jail, I'll jail him. All right, I say jail him. Well, then, that's that. Come on, kid, get up my horse there. Sorry, Sheriff. What the... Well, he drew on you. Right. I said the boy wasn't going to jail, and I meant it. He stays with me. Now, on your way. Look here, stranger. On your way. You'll be sorry for this. Come on, Joe. <laughs> Ain't you going to do nothing? With them guns staring me in the face? 
Job, if you'd ever been along and you wouldn't ask that fool question. But he tried but to... We ain't done with these fellas, though. Remember that, stranger. I will. Get up. Get up there. Get along there. Get up. Get up. Now what do? Looks as though we've got a problem on our hands, Hunter. Uh, I suppose you expect me to thank you. Well, I ain't gonna. I hadn't thought of it, Tommy. Well, you needn't. Tell him I've got an idea. What that? Here, yeah, Tommy. Help with you. Tell him I know just where we're taking him. Huh? Where's that? To the one person we know who'd never refuse anyone in trouble. To Mustang Meg. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Hail, Silver! Hoy! <laughs> the ranch owned by Mustang Mag and managed by Old Missouri, the Lone Ranger met with the reception he'd expected. Well, I should smile. I'll take him in. Foundation, the idea of jailing a youngster like Tommy. Just wait till I see the sheriff. I'll give him a piece of my mind. I'd rather you didn't, Mag. No? Why not? For the present, I don't want the boy's whereabouts known. Well, if you think that's best... Don't I... me and the masked man all us know best, Mag? Missouri, you keep shut. Where's the boy now? Outside with Tutter. You bring him in here. He's going to be difficult to manage, Meg. Ain't I managed, Missouri? Oh, anybody no. can do that, can manage anybody. Very well. I leave him here. Keep the boy busy. Don't pamper him. What he needs most of all is a good, healthy, active existence. Sure. <laughs> active? When Mag gets ordering him around, he'll be scooting like a old gold steer. Don't talk like an idiot. Tonto and I are leaving this part of the country for a while, Mag. We may be gone for several months, but as soon as we can, we'll be back. It was two months later that Tommy, having spent an hour chopping firewood for Mustang Mag, dropped his axe and slowly made his way toward Old Missouri, seated on the steps of the rear porch. Old Missouri? Well, all finished, are you, Tommy? Uh-huh. All but carrying the kindling in. Well, would you mind if I sat down beside you? <laughs> Why, that'd be fine. Here. Sit down right here. Thanks. What's the matter? You act like maybe you got something troubling you. Missouri, I've been pretty awful, ain't I? <laughs> what youngster ain't? If he wasn't, he'd have something wrong with him, I reckon. Well, I mean, like when the mask man first left me here and... I kept trying to run away. Shucks, at your age, I'd run off from home a dozen times. <laughs> Always got drugged back, though. Meg's swell, ain't she? You don't come no finer. But if you ever tell her I said that, I'll whop you good. Ah, uh, she knows you like her. She'd never admit it. Gosh, when I think of all you and Meg have done for me and how good you've been to me, and then get to thinking about the way I've behaved, I, I wish somebody'd kick me. Well, there's no denying you've come a long way since the mask man brung you. Uh-huh. I'll bet he thinks I'm awful. Him? Don't you believe it. You can just lay to it if they hadn't seen some mighty good stuff in you, they'd never fetched you here. Do you think they'll be coming along this way again soon? Mm, I don't know. Hard to tell about them, Tommy. They're likely to be most anywheres, especially when you least expect them. But they ain't forgot you, if that's what you mean. Not it? How do you know? Well, that just ain't their style. You know why I'm so anxious to see him again? Why? Because of the way I talked when they brought me here. I I want to apologize. <laughs> well, you'll be getting your chance one of these days. Hey. Then... Huh? What's the matter? Uh, I gotta see Meg. Hey! Well, I'll be done. Howdy, old hammer. Huh? Well, oh, 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 howdy. Oh, Just turned in here to see if you'd mind a water and a horse is here. Any objections? Uh, help yourself. Trough just the other side of the corral. Uh, thanks. Come on, Jet. Oh, say. Yeah? Uh, thought I seen some, some kids sitting with you when we come past the house. What happened to them? Just went inside. Why? Oh, oh nothing. Nothing. Come on, Jet. This guy was a mic to drink the Rio drive. <laughs> 
The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. to continue our story. The two strangers who had watered their mounts at Mustang Mag's ranch continued on their way when they'd finished. But that night, when Tommy left the ranch house on his way to the well... Hi there. What? Not so fast. Me and Jed here have been waiting to get a look at you. What's up? You little fool. Holler again like that and I'll twist your neck for you. Spade. <laughs> uh-huh. And your Tommy. Where hell would ever think we'd meet up again way over here? What do you want? Well, first of all, we'd come back to make sure it was you we'd seen this afternoon. And how do we see it is? Well, <laughs> it'd be kind of nice to talk over old times. You clear out and leave me be. Hear that, Spade? Funny way for Tommy to talk after we was all such good friends once. You ain't no friends of mine. No? You're just a pair of crooks. Well, I'll be doggone. Ain't we getting proud, though? And after we fed him and give him pocket money for most of a year. Because you could use me in your crooked schemes, that's why. You sure got a suspicious, plum ungrateful disposition, Tommy. Oh, look, fellas. Can't you just go on and pretend you've never even seen me? I don't see why you always... Want... Got a good thing here you're scared to spoil it? Well, the folks here have been swallowing me. I'm all through being crooked. They know about you, do they? What do you mean? About you stealing and things. They do? Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Then I suppose you've told them about how the three of you used to work together back in Kansas. Well, ain't you? Uh, no. <laughs> then there's some things they don't know, huh? They know that I want to do what's right. It wouldn't make any difference if you told them. Well, they must be fine folks. Come on, Jet. Let's find out what they'll say. Uh -huh. No, wait. Hmm? Don't tell them. Please don't tell them. I'm not so sure how they'd take it as you claimed, huh? <laughs> well, Tommy, I don't see where it's necessary for us to tell what you'd rather keep a secret. You won't tell? Oh, gosh, thanks. Thanks, so just I... Just a second. Huh? <laughs> you never get nothing without paying for it, kid. You ought to know that by now. So if it's worth something to you for us to keep still with, <laughs> you ought to be willing to pay up. Pay up? What do you mean? We got a little job we was figuring on over to Sweetwater. Stealing. Ah, don't use such hard names. I don't want to... you've got sense, kid, I reckon the three of us can get together. <laughs> same night, not far from the town of Sweetwater, the Lone Ranger and Tonto drew their horses to a stop. Oh, 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 oh. Well, this looks like a good place to make camp, Tonto. Uh, no one's likely to happen along here. We're close to both Sweetwater and Mustang Mag's place. Not right. I wonder what luck she and Missouri have had with Tommy. Um, we find out soon. I like we've gone on and gotten that night. Ah. Uh. We've got other business to finish up first. Until then, we can't let the news get out that we're in the neighborhood. I'm not right. Spade and Jet ever learned we'd been trailing them. Any chance of trapping them would be gone. Uh -huh. From the way they've been behaving, I've got an idea that Sweetwater is the next place they'll strike. We get them. We have to keep on their trails for the next six months. Here, give me a hand with the saddles. <laughs> Late the following day that Mustang Mag looked up at the sound of the door and saw Tommy leaving his room, dressed to go outside. Uh, Tommy. Huh? Going someplace? Well, just, just after a little Well, walk. come here first. But I said come here. You want me to do something, Mag? 
Oh, I just wanted to talk with you. But, gee, I figured to go, go out outside. To... Yeah, you said that already. But you was just going out for the air, wasn't you? Uh-huh. Well, then there's no hurry. Sit down. Huh? Sit down. Gee, what's wrong? That's just what I aim to find out. But, gee, there's... You got no... something on your mind? Me? Uh-uh. You sure? Gosh, Meg, I wouldn't lie to you, would I? I hope you wouldn't. I'd be mighty disappointed in you if you did. I've been getting around to the part where I'm right proud of you. I don't know what could have made you think anything was bothering me. I... Missouri said so. Did he? And Missouri's seven kinds of an idiot when he wants to be, but he can read folks like print. What did he say? Oh, he said you've been moping around all day. Said every time he wanted you to do something, he'd tell you a second or third time before you heard him. According to him, he ain't smiled once since morning. And if all them things are true, I ain't got no reason to suspect that they ain't. Why, they sure add up to trouble. Now, if there's something you should tell me, get it off your chest. I can promise you'll feel a heap better afterwards. But gosh, Mag, there ain't. How does there ain't? He just imagined all them things. Missouri ain't got that much imagination in his whole system. But... Uh... If I ever give you a reason to think I'd be cross with you if you'd done something wrong? No. Well, I might give you a talking to, but it'd just be for your own good. Wouldn't make me think any less of you, over supposing you were sorry about it. Can't you believe me, Meg? Gosh, you've got things all wrong. Get up. Uh-huh. Now look me in the eye. Sure. Now tell me again that you ain't keeping something from Missouri and me that ought to be told. I ain't, Mag. Tommy, that's the first time you fibbed to me. No, I... Don't make it worse. You can go on out if that's what you set on. I won't keep you no longer. Oh, Mag, don't feel bad. Tommy, you'll get going before I start saying things that'll make us both feel a whole heap worse. later, Tommy drew rein where the trail for Mustang Mag's ranch met the main trail to town. Oh, my. Ho, ho, ho there. You kept us waiting a whole half hour. What delayed you? Nothing. You squared I up. didn't, fellas. I left just as soon as I could. Well, come on. We've wasted too much time already. Get up. Get along there. Get up there. them, Tonto. I know the horses. Uh-huh. And who other fellow? The third man with them. Huh? I don't know. They must have had a Confederate waiting for them. Well, it doesn't matter. It just seems that we'll bag three crooks instead of two. Huh? They're far enough ahead. Come on. Get them up, Scout. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yet, Spade and young Tommy did not draw rein again until they'd arrived within sight of Job Hopkins' general store that stood on the edge of town. Then, however, they took cover in a small grove of trees. We're in time. You ain't locked up yet. And lucky for you, kid. Fellas, I don't want to go through with it. Who is to what you wanted? <coughs> Climb out of that saddle. <coughs> now you can see why we stopped here. You can look right into the window there and see Hopkins moving around. And you can see he's safe. We know when he unlocks it to put his cash away for the night, just as good as if we was in there. Yeah. You ain't forgot how we used to work this in Kansas, have you, kid? No. You start running just the second that safe is open. Holler just as soon as he can hear you. Holler anything. Tell him his house is afire, somebody's dying, or anything else you can think of. But make it strong enough so he'll forget all about locking that there safe again. I know. When he's out of the store, your part's done. You can vamoose. We'll take over. Uh-huh. Just like always. I'm the only one that'll be remembered afterwards. You skunks get the cash and disappear without even being seen. <laughs> sure. That's what's slick about our scheme. Well, yellow coward. Shut up and keep your eyes peeled. Can you see him, Jet? Yeah. What's he doing now? Looks to me like he's counting the cash in his cash door. And then it's almost time. Watch him, kid. I am. Now he's finished. He's walking towards the back. Yeah, I can see him now. 
Get ready, kid. He's leaning over the safe. No? Not quite. All right, get moving. Mr. Hopkins! Fire, Mr. Hopkins! That fetched him. He's standing up and looking around. Well, we can get ready Mr. to... Mr. Hopkins, watch out. The truck's waiting around. What? Uh, did you, you hear that? The dirty little double crosser. Drill it, kid. Come on. <laughs> you missed him. Hurry. I couldn't help it. Light's too bad. Yeah, turn him. We'll drill him. Grab the cash of our moose. Get up and save your breath. Uh, hey. Stop. Drop those guns. Pull up. Mast. And that's a risk, kid. It's a lone ranger. Throw down those guns before I blast them out of your hands. My hands. Oh, my hands. Blast you, you dirty. Take it. My hands, my hands smash. Oh, don't shoot. Don't shoot again. You've got us, don't you? Inside the store, quick, before the crowd gets here. Go ahead, march. Yeah. Open the door, then raise your hands. We, we won't try anything. Keep going. Are these the men, Tommy? Are these the ones? Yes. Are you rotten little squealer? We ought to. Careful. I told you I wasn't crooked anymore. I told you and you wouldn't believe me. I wish I'd have done this before. Hey, what's going on here? Close the door and come in here, Cheryl. Say, you're the masked man me and Joe run up again a couple of months ago. And this is the same kid Joe brought to jail. These are the fellas you want this time, Sheriff. Look here, Wyatt. You... You've been charged them with attempted robbery and attempted murder. They planned to rob Job and did their best to kill Tommy. Is that what happened, Job? Just like he told it, Sheriff. Jail the polecats. I will. Neither one of you hombres makes a move and you'll get drilled. How about the kid here? Still making a charge against him? You arrest Tommy, Sheriff, and I'll see you run out of town. Huh? But I thought that Forget you want... what you thought. This young and risk getting drilled to warn me. From now on, he's welcome to help himself to anything I got. Remember what I told you that other time, Sheriff? Huh? What was that? That Tommy needed nothing more than a chance to make good. He got it. He's been within a few miles of here ever since that day. Mustang Mag took him in. Well, I'll be switched. You know, Sheriff, if the masked fella let us jail the boy that time, I'm willing to bet plenty I'd be out a couple of thousand dollars in cash right this minute. Maybe you would have been, Job. <laughs> Funny how things work out, ain't it? Uh-huh. I... Hey, stranger, come back here. Adios. Golly, what's his hurry? Couldn't he even wait to be thanked? Job? Eh? Hey? I got a notion that liking you took to the boy here is all the thanks that fellow wanted. you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. 